Who will black people be voting for for president of the United States? Donald Trump or Kamala Harris? Neither. I have to go with Trump. Though. Damn sure they know Trump. In Georgia, black voters make up roughly a third of the state's population. She, she hadn't been black until she ran for president. The voters of Georgia will determine which party runs every committee, writes every piece of legislation, and that really means control of this country. A racist asshole. Today we're walking through the streets of Savannah, Georgia. One of the most beautiful places in the entire country, in my opinion. If you've never been here, you should definitely come. Georgia is a swing state and has one of the highest black populations in the entire country. I think one out of every three people here are black. 55% of people in Savannah are black. Given that Donald Trump, Kamala Harris are virtually neck and neck, tied at 49% in the local polls, you could very well say that black people could decide the next president of the United States of America. So why don't we go in the streets and talk to them directly, see what they think. Y'all ready? Sure. Donald Trump, that's what I like. Because Donald Trump done gave out more money than any president we ever had. America, y'all check this out, right? And they're doing this thing right here. I, myself, I ain't voting for Kamala Harris. Not but what she did with Biden, but what she's going to do for us tomorrow. I ain't never knew nobody, now president, done gave me more money than Trump. I'm 64 years old, so, you know, I like Trump. A lot of people like to say Trump's a racist. You don't think he's racist? Man, it is what it is with me. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know that man. You know what I mean? So if he is, I don't give a shit. You know. Kamala Harris is the selection right now for the Democratic Party, but yes. she wasn't democratically nominated. She put herself in a position where she need to be at. I would take Kamala Harris. Yeah. Donald Trump, I ain't got nothing to get this man. Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Shit, I'm trying to ask for some money. But I still mess with Trump because yeah. Trump put money in my pocket. Kamala Harris, because we need new. We can't go backwards, mm -hmm. and our country needs better. Kamala Harris, humanity mm -hmm. and peace. Uh, on a national debate, we're talking about somebody eating dogs and cats. Like, we have gotten to this point. They're eating the pets of the people that live there. And I'm embarrassed. I love being American, but I'm embarrassed for that to even be. And then let's talk about equitable. Convicted felon can run for the president of the United States. What's wrong with our Constitution? Where, you know, some convicted felons who are come out of incarceration has to fight for the right to vote. We say, we don't care. We're going to elect a convicted felon. We're having what? Attempted assassination in America, in, in the United States. This is not what we are. I, I'm afraid for our country. I guess they've tried to kill Trump twice now. Allegedly. Two, allege, allegedly. Okay, so you think it, it might be like a stage thing? He hasn't shown himself to be trustworthy and truthful, so I don't know what to believe. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I believe someone tried to assassinate him, I probably would believe that people in Ohio are eating dogs and cats. So I don't know what to believe. So I prefer allegedly. A lot of people wonder how that guy got a clear shot of mm -hmm. Trump so close when mm -hmm. there's so many Secret Service agents. And a lot of people think that it was, you know, perhaps organized by the other side. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. would you say to that? Uh, I would say that it's possible. I, I doubt it mm -hmm. because that's not who we are. Mm -hmm. Because he assassinates himself every time he opens his mouth. Oh, damn. Why him? This, they're sending a message. They don't want. Maybe he should say, okay, they're trying to tell me something. When you gonna listen, dude? If he's constantly a target, why? The world is a much bigger place than the United States of America, and right now we're on the brink of World War III. When Trump was president, there were no wars. And I know that Kamala Harris wants to support Ukraine in the war at all costs where Donald Trump wants to pull out of the war. Don't you think that that's an important thing to take into account voting in this November? Um, not really. My main thing is I live here. Mm -hmm. My livelihood is here. You can't work, you can't take care of another country until you deal with what's going on right here in our back doors. Harris, you know that. I like her words a little bit in Trump. Really? I mean, 34 felonies? Good God, man, what you want? A lot of people accuse uh, Republicans of being racist to try to require voter ID. I to think everybody should have a right to vote. I'm going for Kamala Harris because um, she's actually working for middle class families, working families. I'm interested in seeing what she's going to do for the next generation that's coming up. Her color does not have anything to do with it. I think I would prefer to have somebody with a little bit more experience this go around, a little bit more political experience, mm -hmm. um, as well as just knowing the wherewithal of how politics work. I like Trump very much, but he did get convicted, okay? He's supposed to, you ever heard about the green card? He never did a darn thing for the college student. But he is a rich man because that's the way Trump is. If Trump get in office again, he got to be very peaceful and powerful to change my soul around to give him my vote. 
and I was very hurt. They shot and hit me in the ear. Don't kill my, he's still my ex-president. Don't kill my president. But I want that guy to get punished because he shot and hit my ear man in the ear. The most important issue that she's standing for young people like myself would be the economy. It is hard in these streets to buy groceries. Rent is just going up, skyrocketing. And I think that she will do a good job at tackling that mm -hmm. issue. If I give Trump another chance, it got to be very Democrat powerful. Yeah. You's a good man, but you got to stand up to your moral standard as a man. Too many people were out finding your way to get rich, and that's very damn powerful and troubleable. Find the whole glory, all I have to say. Go inside. I love making these videos, getting out in the street, talking to real people, getting real opinions. I also love hearing y'all's opinions in the comments. We live in a great country where we have the right to vote for who we want to vote for. We have the freedom of speech. So let's exercise those rights in the comments. We'll see you down there. She's the future. She, she's positive. She's got hope. I believe that we've had, what, 46, 47 presidents. It's time to give a woman an opportunity. You look like you could be a president right now. Thank you. Kamala Harris. I'm for women's rights, and me as a black man with Donald Trump support and white supremacy, me as a black man, I just can't can't get with that. How has Donald Trump supported white supremacy? Well, he hasn't denounced it. So they asked him several times to denounce it. He haven't denounced it. So if you don't denounce it, my opinion, you support it. I think it's more black on black crime. I think it's a lot of kids coming to schools doing mass shootings. That's never touched. All Donald Trump keeps screaming is immigration violence, immigration violence. Trump or Kamala Harris? Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump or Kamala? Kamala? When Kamala Harris was a public prosecutor in California, I don't know how many black men she put away yep, yep. for marijuana possession. Right. Right. And is that an issue to you? Do you think about that? It is kind of sort of issue. I, I have been thinking about it, mm -hmm. but a lot of blacks are upset about that. Yeah. You know, that's, that, that's a big issue. It should be legalized. Neither. Me personally, I don't think anybody outside the government should be voting. And not, if you're not in the military, you don't work for the um, federal government, you shouldn't vote because it has nothing to do with you. You know, my vote don't trickle down to me. Yeah. It just helps the, you know, it's it should be trickle up economics. You know, as black people, we got to boycott something. And if we boycott this election in the next four years, Republican and Democrats will come back begging for our vote and then we can get something done. Because they're trying hard. Damn sure they don't Trump. No, no, Trump trying to take away too much from us. I know they say Camilla Harris, she don't own up to these things and them things because she's been a vice president under the current president. But Trump, no. I know he probably gave us that little money before and this and that, but with all the charges he got, if he could run for president with all these felonies, they need not even put felonies on the application. Hell no. It never was Trump when he got in the first time. And it won't be him this time. He want to take what? Medicaid, Medicare. He want to slash the my mama income, which is she on the fixed income. He want to slash that like about 20%. Yeah, it is kind of crazy he's able to run with all these felonies. You know, it kind of seems like he's above the law, you know? And that's what he think. Yeah. That's what he think. I think all this shit is a hoax with him. The shooting and everything else. Yeah. <laughs> She, she hadn't been black until she ran for president. She wasn't a black vice president. She was, she turned black when she ran for president. A lot of people gonna say I vote for one side and don't can't tell you why. Yeah. Just because I don't like the other side. Have you seen her different accents? She'll like <laughs> she'll come out like in one time and she'll be talking a certain way and then she'll come out another time. She gotta get hood. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Black southern accent. Do you all help us win in 2020? And we're going to do it again in 2024. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then she go to the Latino talk. I want to recognize Chair Baragon. Where are you? I do notice that, though. Do what you got to do. Yeah. I mean, it's like, just... You better thank a union member. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I said I think it's the diversity in her voice and her talking to different audiences and just trying to attract the different people. I think it's just to try to pull in the people who she think that's behind or she trying to get them from the other side. I say Donald Trump only because Donald Trump is the only president that ever gave citizen something that was a stimulus that's the only president that we've ever had that actually gave the people something so it does it really don't matter who win if it's not a stimulus in it enjoy that fried shrimp yes sir y'all have a nice day all right buddy yes sir kamala harris kamala harris why you want to vote for her because i'm a union guy and i think she's the best for the unions i have to go with trump though. yeah i have to go with trump but it'll, it'll be cool to have a female president like Time is getting harder and worse, so, mm. you know, it might be the firm, you know, somebody's firm sitting in this chair, not a, not a firm, you know what I mean? Like, you view Trump as like a strong, firm leader? No, but, you know, when the pressure comes, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I think 
I think he'll handle it before it escalates. It's not a problem to you that Trump has uh, been charged with so many felonies and stuff, and I guess, like, they got him in and out of court, and who knows if he's going to do jail time. Man, look where we from. All this in and out of court, in and out of jail. I don't know, I don't know. That. I don't, it don't mean nothing to me because, like, yeah. you know, yeah. I don't been, like, in the same situation. You don't think Trump's racist? No, I don't think so. Undecided. Kamala Harris, you want to make things better for the country, our country, United States. And Trump wants to destroy everything, take away you know, taxes, Social Security and all that. And, and Kamala, I think, is way better. If he doesn't win, it'd be a bloodbath. And I don't agree with that. He's only for the rich, not the poor or the middle class, whatever. We don't need someone like him um, that's telling half-truths, untruths. Um, in the office of the presidency. He's just not um, not viable. Donald Trump, because he's for the people, he helped the people, and he's a very good businessman, and I think he's helped out with the economy. Donald Trump brings more money to the money, like he said, make America great. And he's trying to improve America again. Border crossings have increased. I have, when I was down in New Mexico, right after the Biden presidency began, traffic increased. It wasn't just Mexicans, it wasn't just Hondurans, it wasn't just Guatemalans. You would see people from the Middle East, China, and that, that's who's coming over the border now. Those people were given a, a quasi message to come by Trump. What was that message? Basically rush the border on Biden. Hey, the, the border is porous. Basically, that's a quasi sign to say, hey, come on in. I ain't gonna lie, Donald Trump kind of put his foot in his mouth sometimes. <laughs> oh. Some people dislike the things that Donald Trump says, mm -hmm. but things that Donald Trump says is kind of true. Mm -hmm. So he, he's kind of a tell it like it is type guy, mm -hmm. and people can't handle the way that Donald Trump expresses himself. So. I think Melodia is probably a KGB agent. Is she? Melania? I don't know what her name is. The really. Trump's wife? Oh, okay. Um, what happened to her when Trump went to Russia? She kind of disappeared. Who is he beholden to for his election numbers? Let's say propaganda farms just doesn't add up to me, brother. Not as a free American with free thought. Yeah, he makes a lot of people mad. Yeah. A lot of people say he's a racist. No. You don't think he's a racist? No, sir. No, sir. No, no sir. But I don't think he's trying to crumble America, no. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I wouldn't call him a dictator nor a tyrant, no, no. Yeah, um, lesser of two evils, let's say that. Trump, excuse me. How many people to go back to their country? Where's he from? Trump? Trump, yeah. I think Trump's from New York City? No, he's from a foreign country. Trump? Kamala Harris, strictly because she's a woman and she's black, point blank, period. It's the point that the women get to uh, choose how they get to, uh, you know, do their body, whether they want to have an abortion or not. That's mm -hmm. very important to me also. Any limits? Or is it you should be able to have an abortion whenever you want to? No, no, not just, no. I don't, I don't think it's right just to have abortion, just to have abortion. Mm -hmm. I think just uh, different circumstances. Yeah. You get raped or, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Other than that, no. I don't. If you get a heartbeat, no, it's no. done. Kamala Harris, because she doesn't think the Haitians are eating cats. I've never been big on Trump, but that definitely, that definitely like confirmed my stance because it's a blatant lie and he told it on national television. I think that's wrong that he's spreading lies like that, especially about a certain group of people. There has been something like 10 million border apprehensions in the past four years under Biden and Kamala Harris. Mm -hmm. uh, that's when they catch people crossing the border illegally and the amount of people that actually get across is probably much higher. Yeah. Is that an issue for you this go around this election season? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think we should secure the border for sure. Um, it shouldn't be that easy to get in our country. I don't like Trump's attitude. That's mm -hmm. it. That's the, main, that's the main one. I think he needs to listen more. And I would never vote for Trump. Never. Mm -hmm. Never. I, why not? Why? Never. Yeah. Period. A racist asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Neither one. Well, because I've uh, actually lost faith in the, in the government itself because of who's running the country. To me, it's not a politician. They, they pulling the strings. What about you, man? Neither one. I'm not voting because they don't have a candidate that I like. I think money runs this country. The politicians really don't run this country. Yeah. Kind of feel like it's all a lie. Yeah.